Xavier's just confessed that it was Brendan who caused the accident to Leah's car and he's kept it from everyone. What? Did you know about this? That's news to me. You've got to tell them what happened, OK? You've got to tell them! Miles, John Palmer's lodged a formal complaint with the department accusing you of assaulting a student. That is ridiculous. He was defending me. You might want to consider consulting a lawyer. Sorry about the wait. I've been run off my feet here. You're not here on your own, are you? Oh, yeah, apart from the casual. Oh, and Leah's taking herself off tomorrow for a few days with VJ. Not that I begrudge her the break after everything that's happened with Roman. And uh, Belle's in that clinic. <laughs> much as I am the backbone of this business, I don't think I can manage for much longer on my own. I thought Kirsty was helping out. Yeah, she is, but that hardly makes up for three people. Oi, oi. Over there. Uh. Well, I suppose this probably isn't a real good time to tell you that I'm taking off, too. Where are you going? Duncan's getting married. When did that happen? Well, I've only known about it for an hour, Colleen, so I'm as shocked as you are. But what about Annie and Jeff? You're meant to be helping me keep an eye on them while Irene's away. I can't very well tell Duncan to organise his wedding around Annie and Jeff. If you leave me here to manage all of this on my own, plus looking in on those kids, I'll be six feet under by the time you get back, and that's a fact. So Xavier knew all along that Brendan caused the accident. Yeah, but don't worry. I already gave him a massive serve about it before. He came over earlier to apologise to Leah. I think he's feeling pretty sick about what happened to Roman. Yeah, but don't you think it's kind of weird he didn't say anything? I guess Save just panicked. You know how he is with Brendan. He was just trying to protect him. I'd do the same thing if it were Charlie. So what happens now? Are they in trouble? Oh, they don't know yet. Charlie said the police won't make a decision until there's been a whole heap of, like, interviews and investigations about Brendan. Maybe I should go see Zave. No, don't. They're all leaving tonight to go stay at his mum's. They need to be near Brendan's old centre and their doctors and lawyers and stuff. I'm oh, sorry, hold on. Hello? Hey! Where did you get to before? Oh, really? That sucks. OK. Well... Take care of yourself. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know how she does it. Who? Charlie. She just got home from work and then the station calls her. She had to go back in there and now she thinks she's going to have to pull an all-nighter. My sister's a machine. Good morning. Uh, we're running late. What do you order, please? not too much trouble, I would like to order a coffee. I'm sorry, but how can you possibly expect me to serve you after everything going on between us? Well, you're the one who abused my son and then your boyfriend assaulted him. I think I'm entitled to the high moral ground. Yeah, well, except that is all lies. I'm not prepared to go into it right now. Just the coffee. Thank you. Mr Copeland, I wonder if I might have a word. Just been on the phone to the department. The meeting with the inspectors confirmed this afternoon after school. OK, so how's this all going to work? Well, you, Kirsty and Trey will all be interviewed separately and then he'll compile a report to the department based on those interviews. And what if the department concludes that I did assault Trey? Oh, no doubt. An adverse finding would result in your dismissal. The matter may be referred to the police. This is brilliant. Oh, well, let's not preempt anything. Let's see what the afternoon brings. What do you say? Well, he said a few things, most of which weren't very good. You're not going to lose your job, are you? I hope not. See you in class, sir. I was just thinking, this time yesterday my heart was breaking and I was planning to be as far away from you as possible. I never thought this could actually happen. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was just so scared of what I was feeling that... Are you still scared now? But it would be nice if we could just take off. <laughs> Find a place up the coast, 
and hide away for a few days. Sleep, swim, eat. And then reality would come crashing down. Well, I better go and tell them I'm not going to take that job anymore. Unless... Am I expecting too much here? Just thinking how I'm going to have to start telling people. I want to tell Ruby. She needs to know first. It'll be easier if we told her together. She might just need a bit of time to get her head around it. Well, better let you go. Hey. Do you want to come over tonight? Only if you want me to. Yes, I do. I love you.